top of the morning to you all. We have spent a wonderful last two and a half hours at this crane sanctuary park that Kylie has found. And uh, we're headed off for a bit of lunch right now. Um, I'm going to let her do a little talking and sharing some of the cool things we've seen. Uh, but it's been really beautiful out here. The snow is great since we didn't really get to enjoy much of it back home in this last year. So it's been a, a nice change of pace, and it's definitely way hotter than we expected. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pass you off to Kylie, and she can chat about uh, what we've seen. Oh, well, gang, we're walking back into the village to get some lunch. And I've been walking here trying to figure out how I can possibly describe the beauty of these cranes. And I guess all I could say is that I was quite literally reduced to tears. I They were so beautiful. When we first got here, I missed a bunch of shots that had the best lighting possible because I just was overwhelmed by the beauty. And as much as I've been birding, I don't know that that's ever really happened before. <laughs> so it was a very, very special morning. And gosh, these birds are just ridiculously photogenic. It felt like you couldn't get a bad shot. <laughs> they pose so beautifully. It's almost like they know that they're superstars and they like to pose for the camera. And it was just beautiful. <laughs> In so many ways. But anyway, it's been wonderful. We're kind of trying to figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the day, if we're going to return or try to catch a bus back. Um, so thanks so much for listening to me gush about these red-crowned cranes. They're really something special. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Well, Kylie and I just got back from a wonderful uh, cheesy curry uh, lunch. It was absolutely phenomenal. We're going to go watch as the cranes are about to get fed for the second time today. So there should be some exciting action. And I found a little Shima Naga pin for her that I'm going to give her. Uh, a little gift, souvenir from this trip. I know it's something she's been wanting to do for a long time. And it's taken a lot of work on her part to get us out here. So... Anyways, we're going to get some more B-roll of the cranes, some more pictures, and it's going to be a lot of fun. from Sururi Crane Sanctuary. Once again, we are back for a second day this morning, and we ended up paying for a taxi instead and got here uh, right after sunrise, which was absolutely stunning. Um, it's been a beautiful morning so far, a bit colder than usual because we are up quite a bit earlier, but it's going to be a lot of fun today, and uh, we are actually going to go to another crane sanctuary a little later, which is going to be even more fun. Um, Sorry, the gimbal is really messing up now. But anyways, a guy that Kylie and I met at our hostel has offered to take us there uh, a little later. And so we're going to go with him, and it's going to be a load of fun. So uh, yeah, probably won't get a lot of talking from Kylie today, because she's going to be shooting a lot. Uh, but I will get some video for you guys, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. So, cheers. <music>
I don't have the gimbal right now, so I apologize if the camera's a bit shakier and the angle is uh, terrible. On the plus side, you won't hear that high-pitched screech in the background, which I do apologize if that's bugged the crap out of some of you. I know it really bugs the crap out of me while I'm editing. Um, it's definitely a bit windy this morning, but I just wanted to take a minute and say that uh, it has been really nice being out here at this crane sanctuary the last couple of mornings. Uh, God has really blessed us with some incredible sights and some incredible finds with the birds, and the weather has been absolutely amazing. Uh, honestly, wouldn't complain if it snowed a little just for the pictures, but other than that, it has been truly phenomenal. We are super grateful, and it's just an absolutely beautiful area. So we'll keep you updated with our adventures throughout the day, and we'll take some more footage and show you guys all the awesome things that we get to see. What's up y'all? Once again, you find me without the gimbal in hand. I am running back from grabbing our dinner. We got home from an exceptional day at birding that we will tell you all about. Um, so much fun was had. I mean, it was just absolutely amazing, but we got some dominoes and we're gonna enjoy some dinner and then we'll update you on the day and we'll sign off. See you in a bit. Well, we are reporting live from Chitose, which is just outside of Sapporo. We've made the long journey back from Kushiro, which is where we were doing our birding adventures. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to record this actually in uh, Kushiro because we ended up having a packed day. We got up at about five in the morning to go see the cranes, and then we didn't get home until seven. It was very late. And yeah. then we ended up um, striking up conversations with the other guests. And um, long story short, they gave us some <laughs> they gave us some sake toasts to our marriage. And we were up until a little past midnight. So it was a very long day with no time for a summary video. And then today we were just traveling. Indeed. But anyway, now that we've made it here... Noah's apparently told you all that I'm going to give a summary of the things we saw. Uh, first of all, it was a dream come true for me. I am just so, so thankful. It was amazing. It was everything that I wanted it to be. Um, of course, there's still a lot more birds to see here, so I'm going to have to come back sometime. But boy, we just, we have wonderful luck, and I have no doubt that the Lord himself you know, sent me some of those birds. He was Amen. really looking out for me. Um, the cranes were so un indescribably beautiful. Um, it was almost unlike any other birding experience I've had before. Um, just to see these incredible cranes so close. Uh, they were so graceful and yet very playful at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it was like you know, one moment they were as gorgeous as ballet dancers. And then suddenly they'd get into a scuffle and, you know, turn all clumsy. And you can really see why so much Asian art includes cranes. Um, if I had lived there at any time in history, I would have been inspired to paint them over and over again, which... I'm sure I'm, I'm hoping to do now. I have lots of <laughs> reference photos <laughs> and lots of memories that I love to paint from. Mm -hmm. So other than that, we, this was something that I had not even dared to hope might happen, but we had a, another birder that we met 
at the crane sanctuary who offered to let us carpool with him. And he ended up driving us around for almost the entire day. He just let us accompany him on his planned birding tour. And it was like having a private guide. It was <laughs> for a lot free. of fun. Yeah. He was, was a great guy. Amazing. Once again, just an incredible experience. Um, yeah. And so we got to see all kinds of stuff that we wouldn't have been able to see just relying on public transportation. Um, he took us to a secret spot that I had no idea existed mm -hmm. to find some owls. Very uh, cute. Ural owls. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh my gosh, there were two owls there, which was just, oh my gosh, even better than expected. Um, super fun to watch. Uh, we went to a different crane sanctuary as well, which of course had wonderful cranes, but also had swans, mm -hmm. uh, which were very fun to watch. And oh man, it was just a wonderful day with some, some good, uh, steaming hot ramen in the middle of it, mm -hmm. which is a great way to warm up. Uh, which that's another way we really lucked out. I was, terrified that the weather was going to be extremely cold and um in the in the week before the lows had gotten you know below 10 degrees fahrenheit and amazingly it stayed in the low 30s almost the whole time that we were there even above that sometimes it would get into the 40s which was a little disappointing because a lot of the other photographers were hoping for snow. Mm -hmm. um, but it was also happy for us because we were plenty warm and it was a great, uh, you know, baby step into winter birding. <laughs> we, we didn't have any, um, extreme weather problems, which is really lucky. But anyway, have I missed anything? No, <laughs> was, no, I, I just want to say it was, it was amazing. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. The lighting was, harsh but good for kylie especially because her camera doesn't do good in low light so yeah, having the sun lucky. having the sun come out was really great for that um and danny if you ever see this you're a g thank you so much <laughs> for taking us around i legitimately had a good time which is surprising because i don't generally <laughs> enjoy birding um i do it for kylie because i love her but I, I did really enjoy these last couple of days, and the cranes really were amazing. Um, Just a testament to how amazing this is. If Noah had fun on I, a 16-hour bird I day, legitimately Noah enjoyed just amazing. standing around watching the cranes. <laughs> and I took almost as many pictures as Kylie did in those two days. So uh, that says something, even with my crappy small lens. Um, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, we just wanted to give you guys a quick update and there will be more content coming because we are going to Sapporo tomorrow. And so we're going to record basically a vlog of that and just do some like some brief city fun stuff and, uh, you'll, we'll bring you along for the adventure. So we're going to let you go for now till next time. We'll see you later. Wish me luck. I'm looking for long tailed tits. And the next couple days. Oh, and so many tits. My favorite, very maturely named bird. Yes. Uh, wish, wish me luck. <laughs>